All right, guys, this is uh, this is not a usual video. It's not something I normally make. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys will, uh, will realize that as soon as I get started. But I did something really cool, and I thought I would share it with you guys. I was originally just going to post it on Reddit and let somebody else uh, do something with it. And then Devin was like, why don't you post it on your channel? And I was like, okay, well, then that's a good idea. So, so yeah, let me, let me show you guys what I did. Uh, first... I removed the battery from my Shield tablet. Uh, a lot of a lot of people that had the original Shield tablet, if you guys remember, they told you, "Hey, by the way, your battery could burst into flames at any moment while charging, or it's just not safe. Return it, um, or get rid of the tablet. We don't care what you do. Destroy it. We'll send you a new one." And they did that. They sent everybody new ones, and then uh, some of us did not send them back. Me. <laughs> So what I did uh, is I used it for the longest time. It never gave me a problem. The battery started getting a little weak to where it's not holding charge quite as long as it once used to. Uh, and then I also got a new tablet and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put this thing to use. Um, so I did some muckery and I got my tablet here with no battery to work on the plug that it originally came with but so yeah the the original charger that came with it um works just fine the um i don't know you, you just you need to know how to need to know how to solder there's a few requirements here so i'm not going to make it sound like you can just like slap this thing together but if you know how to use a soldering iron and uh you're not afraid to to risk having a lithium battery explode in your hands or, or you know whatever the, the issues may be um, then this might be something fun for you to watch the camera is gonna show you guys this view uh, you as you guys can tell I'm, I'm actually a live streamer not a video creator so let me uh, let me show you so here's my tablet right and and my tablet as you can see the battery battery's gone it's disconnected and in place of it is this this little board here, right? This little board, and then that's wired directly into a USB cable that goes into the original power brick um, for the unit. This is all original equipment. I didn't have to purchase anything to make this work. Uh, the only thing that I use that doesn't go with the shield is I used a different USB cable, and it was just an old one that was laying around. So essentially, when you take the battery and the battery is originally in place uh, just just like this right it goes goes right there well when you take the battery out you remove a bunch of this stuff right here and at the tip of this which you can see it's kind of uh, let's see it's kind of oh, hold on let me go back to the other side and I'll show you guys from the other angle can see the battery has this little thing right here well that little board the little circuit board that was that was connected to the battery there well that little circuit board is this circuit board right here the little green board that I had all my stuff wired to is actually connected to the end of the battery and that's what delivers power to the rest of the tablet and I'm guessing this board is some kind of regulator that keeps check on the battery's temperature and voltage levels so essentially I bypassed the battery by wiring into that circuit board. As you can tell from the picture, it took a little more than just wiring straight into it. And I'll explain uh, kind of exactly what I did. So where the red and black are connected, they were actually connected to the battery. And I, I kind of looked around on the board and looking at the board, you can see there's a B positive and a B negative or B plus, B minus. Uh, I am not an electrical engineer in any sense. I've never been to school for it or anything like that. So uh, I just took my best guess knowing electronics that the positive and the negative, what, what they were for. And that, that was the battery terminals. Uh, and then knowing the basics, red and black, typically your positive and your negative. Uh, I just went with that. So it was a lot of educated guessing, but... Uh, soldered those and originally I soldered them exactly where the battery was connected the the unit turned on and after it turned on it turned back off and I said okay so there's something wrong either it recognizes there's no battery 
or um, you know it's not it doesn't like this connection maybe it's too little maybe it's too much so I kind of went back not to the drawing board but back to looking at how everything was connected so when I did that when I went back I realized I realized that uh, one there's some little wires here there's a green and a white wire again I'll post pictures here for you um, and then you've got your red and black that were connected in here well you can't really see it anymore but right here on the edge of this and again I'll provide you guys pictures um, the red and black were actually running straight off of this and they were going right into the board right here and kinda of looking at it up close you can you can see there's the green the white the black and the red and they all run into the board right here so I, I said okay well maybe it's not getting enough power so I wired straight into this red and black and when I did that the tablet again it came on and I thought okay great I got it it's got enough juice now and then it went right back off and so I said okay so it's, it has to have this board this board has to be connected because these are doing something and my guess is that this regulates the battery maybe this tells the system how much battery is in, is left or how much juice is left in the battery maybe it lets it know if it's overheating uh, I don't know again I'm not an electrical engineer I do not know that information um, if somebody does know that information please feel free to uh, to leave a comment so anyway I started thinking okay well if I can power it directly with USB and it doesn't care and it's not hurting anything and I said but we need to make sure there's power to this green board I said so why don't I wire the two wires together so I soldered them together and then I wired them in as if they were connected to the battery so instead of using the terminals that were coming off of this back piece here I went ahead and just wired them straight in here and then straight to the battery so it's getting full power to this board as well as full power to the tablet and when I did that amazingly enough it worked and so now I'm gonna show you guys um, that it actually works uh, you know just to show that <laughs> that I'm not crazy and making a video so that you'll cut your your tablets up okay so I've got my little somewhere over here I've got my little image up so that you guys can see and it's this uh, this camera right here as you can see um, original power brick there's a power plug right there and then tablet connected in and wired in through the USB and as long as it's got enough power, it'll work. And if you use if you use a a you know a power brick that's not strong enough, like I tried to use uh, this this cheap Asus one here. Let me show you. I'll show you this camera. This little this little Asus one. It did not work. Um, it's only got 5.2 volts and 1.35 amps, as where the Nvidia Shield is is providing 5.2 volts with 2.1 amps. So it's getting more amperage. Uh, and that's probably what the processor and everything needs to to actually function. So everything's plugged in right now. You should be able to uh, power it on. You'll get your NVIDIA logo. And uh, still, still showing you the back and everything is connected. I originally wanted to do this because I, I wanted to make like an emulator station and if you guys if you know anything about using the shield if you don't use the shield controller um, then you have to use the one available micro USB slot and that just doesn't work I mean I don't know about you I play uh, using a 360 controller and then I use this guy right here uh, through USB and while I could have powered it through USB I would not be able to use this because you, you can't charge and use uh, USB at the same time and look at that there we go so it's on, it's connected, and let me bring it up here. You can actually see it shows full battery. It's, it shows 100% battery. Yeah, look. Look at that. Look at that guy. 100% battery. And and it's because it's hardwired. It's directly wired in. So a anyway, that that's just something cool that I figured out and I, I wanted to share with you guys. Um, and, and you can see as soon as I yank the power, boom and it's and it's off it's not it's not gonna work anymore um, but yeah I wanted to share that with you guys because I thought it was really cool I have been reading a lot of post um, reading a lot of post on reddit 
And one, one person even said, oh, you can't do that. That won't work. There, you know, five volts to the, the unit, it requires three. You're gonna blow something up, it's gonna break it. It won't work. And so I just, I didn't believe it. I, and I don't ever believe it. Um, I'm, I'm very much of a, uh, you know, prove it to me kind of person. Um, and all the people just said it, it, it just won't work. Uh, luckily, the, the whole reason that I kept that little piece when I took my battery out is because I had watched some video from some, and I don't remember who it was. I don't even know if I could find it if I wanted to, but it was a small YouTube channel that said how to power your Android phone without a battery. And the guy took apart a battery that went inside of like an S3 and he wired it up using the pins at the end of the battery where it goes into the three pins and they, he like hooked it up and it worked. And I was like, that's really a good idea. So when I took apart the battery to my shield, and, and keep in mind, I did not take apart the battery. Do not open the battery. I don't, I, I am not an electrical engineer. I will say this again and again. I am not a professional. I feel comfortable with my level of technical knowledge to do this, but do not puncture the battery. Puncturing the battery, exposing the lithium to, to oxygen, if I'm not mistaken, causes it to burst into flames. It's kind of what happens with a Tesla. Whenever a Tesla's riding down the street, it flips and a bar goes through the battery and it bursts into flames. Don't do it. So if you, if you take this apart, do not damage the battery. The little thing that's, that's up here on the top comes off really easily. But again, I'm not responsible if you blow your hand off or burn yourself and get third degree burns because you guys wanted to mess with your battery further than you should. Honestly, this is going to get disposed of um, and, and as properly as possible because it's lithium. Um, and I, I don't need this bursting into flames in my dumpster or something. But anyway, that's that's uh, that's the gist, though. I, I just wanted to show you guys the the feasibility, the possibility of connecting your tablet directly in. So sorry for the light; it's incredibly blinding. I didn't have enough light to kind of accommodate this scenario, so I've got my spotlight really close, and it's just kind of washing me out. Uh, anyway, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will uh, I'll see you guys in the next live stream. So just to make sure that I explain this completely and correctly, uh, right here at the end, this is where the two wires came out. And then these are where the two wires came from the battery. I wired directly into those, and then I wired my charger into the cables as well that run to the board uh, so that this board gets power and the tablet gets power, not using the two at the end. Uh, the green and the white wire stay connected. They stay they stay connected to this board. Um, I just wanted to clarify that just to make sure you guys fully understood. Thanks for watching, guys.